cows, and we love our neighbors. They don't have a problem. It's just we're on different planets. Um, <laughs> we're generating eight thousand dollars an acre with the multi speciation of the uh, of the different animals. And suddenly now there's an income for the next generation to come and build uh, and build a business on. So if it's economical like that, why didn't everybody do it? Well, that's smart. <laughs> That's an answer. That's an answer. They're not smart enough. Um, well, several things. Number one is I have to market this stuff. And most farmers don't want to touch marketing with a 10 foot pole. They really don't want to touch people with a 10 foot pole. That's why they're farmers, you know, because they don't like people. <laughs> I mean, you know, most farmers are much friends with their John Deere tractor than their spouse, you know. Um, so, so, I mean, that, that's one reason. You know, th there's nobody knocking on my door saying, you know, you raise it and I'll buy it. Um, and so that, that's probably the number one reason. Um, the second reason is that this is different. It, it's, uh, it's unusual. And um, unusual scares. Uh, we're all scared of what's unusual, the unknown, you know. Uh, and, and they just, uh, and of course the third thing is that there's a huge USDA, FDA, industrial fraternity of minds out there. I don't use the word conspiracy because then you're a nut. So <laughs> it's, it's a fraternity of ideas that says this is bioterrorism because our chickens and turkeys might commiserate with red-winged blackbirds and indigo buntings and take our diseases to the science-based, environmentally controlled Tyson chicken houses and threaten the planet's food supply. Uh, th there's a there's a consortium. What is it? The coalition of it's C S F U S or something like that. Anyway, it's it's um, it, it's it's a it's a thirty million dollar publicity campaign that put together by fifty uh, industrial ag uh, uh, entities to fight this kind of farming. It's just been launched. They've gotten a lot of press just in the last month. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's Mon Farm Bureau Federation, Monsanto, yeah, it's all the big, the big, you know, the Corn Growers Association, and the whatever. And what's amazing is they're using checkoff money to finance it. With checkoff money is, is money that is, is like, um, it's like tax, it's a tax on when you sell an animal, and it goes into this fund that's basically a government fund. And so here, here you've got this, this checkoff money that's a tax for when you sell an animal. Uh, that's funding the industry to demonize this. Well, what can uh, and, we and do? So, and so the average the average guy out here that's reading, you know, the farm literature, every day he's barraged by, this is going to kill my grandchildren. This is going to, this jeopardizes the, you know, the security of our food. I mean, I mean, it's very real. It's very, very real. And it's because our culture still worships at the altar of Louis Pasteur. I'm sure everybody knows about Louis Pasteur, mm -hmm. you know, the germ theory, uh, you know, looked at the microscope, saw those little squiggly things, says, we got we to kill them, they're going to they're, they're gonna get us, they're bad guys, we're going to annihilate them. And there was a contemporary Frenchman of his by the name of Antoine Beauchamp, who said, au contraire! <laughs> Mon frère! <laughs> Our immunological hedge is a breakdown in immunological terrain. And he advanced the terrain theory as an alternative disease, you know, pathogen theory to the germ theory. Well, you know, Louis Pasteur was well spoken, handsome, did a great, you know, Good Morning America interview, <laughs> and, um, and, and he won the day. And besides, people don't like to be told that you're responsible. We love to be victims, don't we? Mm. We love to think there are bad guys out there that are getting me, and there's nothing I can do mm. except to try to annihilate the bad guys, right? I mean, that, that kind of goes with our psyche. We love to be victims. We love to talk about the bad guys. I mean, that's why we call them stoplights and not go lights. <laughs> you know, it's all those bad guys. And... Um,